Uh, good morning. A little bit of change of plans, actually. We were planning on taking the Silver Line going to Ashburn, but because most people are going towards downtown right now, we kind of had to switch gears a little bit. So right now we are on the Orange Line heading to Roslyn. And so I want to introduce you to Allie. I talked to her while we were waiting for the Metro about a second ago. Allie, how often do you take the Metro? At least a couple times a week, four to five, uh, at least time going to work, but also just for recreational purposes, seeing friends in the city, um, going to D.C., so I do rely on it. So you're talking about relying on it a lot to get back and forth. Not a fan yeah. of driving. I get oh, it. I Me too. It. So when you hear there might be fare increases, station closures, what does that mean for you? The, it's just very inconvenient overall. I know myself, as well as a lot of people who live in Virginia, as well as Maryland, really rely on it to get into D.C. So it's just, it's inconvenient because unfortunately we're still going to keep paying. Um, so there should be something done that doesn't rely on the users uh, to really make up for these lost costs. When we think about traffic congestion, one of the major solutions is public transportation. And so what are some solutions you think that you would like to see? Is it, you know, having more government involvement and helping to help with some of that deficit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I simply just won't drive. I hate doing it. Um, the cost of, like, gas, tolls, uh, parking is just way more inconvenient than the metro. Um, so I do think the government should help as well as just not only the D.C. government, but Maryland and Virginia have to do their parts as well. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a safe trip. And, of course, she won't be seeing any of that traffic congestion that she was concerned about because, as you can see, not a lot of people on the Metro with us so far this early this morning. But I do want to mention, if you go to WJLA.com right now, we've got an article up already. There is a meeting today, an in-person meeting at 6 o'clock. There is also the ability to attend a virtual meeting tomorrow. And you can fill out a survey online. That's due Tuesday by 5 p.m. if you can't attend any of these meetings to share some of your concerns. That's up also at WJLA.com. Live along the Orange Line, Joy Wang, 7 News. And it's impressive because she's not holding on to the bars mm -hmm. either. So good job, Joy. <laughs>